Hello everyone, this is Pablo from Esoteric Sound Studio and I'm here to tackle a very interesting question that I come across quite often in the world of DWs, which is which DW sounds the best? Uh, there's a couple ways to show this. Um, I mean, there's only one way that makes sense So, to me, which is basically throwing your tracks into Ableton, um, multi-tracks, um, process them, bounce them, and then do the same thing on Pro Tools. But why is this uh, question important? It's because if the argument, if, if, the, if the answer to the question is, yes, there's a difference, then why would you choose a DW instead of another? It's only because of the sound or is the efficiency of the of the software because if we if the if the answer is no there's no difference then DWs would only make a difference in terms of workflow they wouldn't make any difference in terms of sound quality on the output so this is where things become very interesting because I personally believe that digital summing theoretically should be the same it's zeros and ones by putting certain plugins into the chain, the, it might sound different because of the plugin architecture itself. Like some plugins do have um, randomness or noise or whatever added to it that it's impossible to reproduce uh, twice. It's basically like analog. No matter how intact you leave your analog gear, you, you print the track twice and you do an null test and it won't sound it won't cancel because there's artifacts that are basically making the the performance, let's call it like that, of the of the gear or the plugin different each time. But if there's no processing, then the summing, if there's a different summing, shouldn't shouldn't null. But if it nulls, then means that the summing, just the pure digital summing, is the same. So it's very easy to show. We're gonna go ahead and put 48 kilohertz 24 bit session here I'll show you um, we're gonna put these stems of this cool track that I have um, making sure that nothing is warped so because that will obviously change the sound and that should be it so I'm gonna go ahead and lower all this. Uh, it, it seems to be limited, so I don't wanna uh, kill our ears. So we're gonna put everything at minus 10. And we can just listen roughly what this is about. So here we go. Cool. So you get an idea of the of the type of tracks, kind of EDM, modern, uh, I mean electronic music. So EDM, like electronic music, alternative. So we're gonna go ahead and basically bounces as it is. Master export, no dither, wave file, forty eight, twenty four bit, a uh, bit. We're gonna put this on the on the desktop, and we're gonna call this Ableton Summing Straight. So Ableton Summing, boom, bounce up, and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose three tracks. Let's do the lead, box effects, and drums, for example. Put them on the top, and process these three tracks. So I've already kind of pre-decided what to process. First of all, one from Plugin Alliance, which is a, a CPU based, it's not DSP. We're gonna throw that to the drums with no preset. There we go, done. Then we're gonna go ahead and do 
for the lead 1176A revision A from sorry since a revision from UAD, which I would assume it has much more artifacts and uh, non predictability. Let's call it like that. And then I'm gonna do a completely different uh, brand, which is a uh, Clan Helm, which is a MG, MJUC. I'm gonna go ahead and use a preset drums, the first preset, Morning Rocky. So we have that on the box effects, we have that on the lead vocals and this on the drums so if we can hear a little bit my rebellious sect why make us cry and not give back i'm reaching for the small okay so it's basically processing and this one is my rebellious not not touching it at all so we're gonna bounce this and we're gonna call this um FX basically or processed. Let's call it processed to be even clearer. So my 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 theory would be that, which is of what I've had an experience and the tests that I've done myself, is that it would be completely nulled apart from the the elements that were processed, which are drums, lead, and box effects. And in the one that is obviously without um, uh, plugins would be completely nulled. Uh, we're gonna save this. Ableton Sunny. And we're gonna jump into Pro Tools. We're gonna create here Pro Tools Sunny. Create. Save it on the desktop, that's cool for now. Gonna go ahead and throw all of this in. We lower 10 dB. 10 dB on the gain, and now we bounce this. You can, can we can play it so you guys can hear the same thing. Climbing up a hill and I'm nearly there. Every time he talks, I fall down again. Wanna get my breath? When kindness has become my rebellious sect, why make us cry and not give back? I'm weak. Cool. So, basically, the same thing. So, we're gonna bounce. I mean, I cannot hear any difference. If I do, uh, I think it's in my head. So we're gonna call this. Uh, sorry, it was already right. Summing. Bounce it offline to the four, forty-eight, the lift wave. Same thing. Go ahead and bounce out, and now we're gonna uh, put on the top. Oh, so it's lead, box effects, and drums. So we said that on the drums we want the vertigo, default settings. Then on the lead we want the 1176 default settings and then we want the MJUC on the box effects which is here on the first preset of drums modern rock. So we're gonna see the same wanna give my breath See they're working. When kindness has become a rebellious set. Great. So now we're gonna go ahead and bounce this. This is processing. And now we're gonna import in a new Pro Tools session. Because I've got the comments that a Pro Tools HD sounds better. Well, this is Pro Tools HD, so it's gonna be, be very easy to, to answer the question. Now, summing 
digital summing null test. Null is with one L or two? I guess two. I don't even know. Sorry for that. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Um, go ahead and import this. So we're copying, no uh, sample rate conversion, straight. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same for the A button, which is like this one. Process and processing. I don't have a good memory. So make sure that the output is one. OK, there we go. So we should basically compare these two and these two. So for now, we're going to mute these two, the processed. I'll mute it. I'm going to put a phase shift. I use the EQ1, which, by the way, um, I've done the null test, and it doesn't, just by putting this plugin on, it doesn't change the sound at all. So you put them here, and it's, there's nothing working, basically. It's just a thing. So if we unmute this, uh, oops, I should be working here. So if we mute this and we play, we hear. If we unmute this, it's completely null, which proves that digital summing, at least with no processing, doesn't make any difference. Zero. Everything else you hear is a myth. We just did the test, and I've done it in front of you. I'm not stopping. This is not an opinion. This is not a belief. It's basically what it is. Now, what's interesting is with processing. Is it the plugin that, let's see if they null. If they null, that means that the plugins behave exactly the same way each time. If they don't, that means that plugins behave differently or that the, the some sort of kind of magical boosting processing power of each DW makes the plugin behave differently, which I don't think that's the issue. So let's go ahead and hear this. So nothing. No difference at all, which means that because I, I had the feeling that maybe there is some randomness added to, to the plugins, but th there's basically none. Um, I'm surprised actually. But there you go. Silly the same. Let's make sure I bounced. This, yeah, all the planes are on. The summing one. Process. Good. So there you go. That's the absolute test. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, anything that I did wrong, uh, point it out. Let me know. Send me a message. Whatever you guys want to do. But uh, this sums it pretty well. A bit redundant, but it really does. Absolutely nothing going on. And if I mute this and I take this plane out, we're going to hear double the volume, so be careful here. When kindness has there you go. So that's what it is. Great, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, once again, let me know if you have any questions, any comments, and I hope this helps also clarify and disprove all those people that are constantly saying that some professionals that I know work with... Uh, Protos HD because uh, the stereo image is wider. I'm not trying to insult people here, but there's facts and there's beliefs. And uh, the problem with beliefs is that they influence the choice of people and they make some people make poor decisions that actually might cost them uh, money and even financial stability to a certain degree. Uh, I have friends that um, have spent much more money on HD thinking that uh, it's going to be better for their sound and etc. Which actually it doesn't. I use it for different reasons. I use it because of the automation tools, the 5.1, etc. 
But uh, here you go. Um, I hope that this uh, clarifies uh, a little bit the myth. Let me know if you have any thoughts. Bye-bye.